All right, guys, so last week I did a video, and I think I did it backwards. I did it to where I was big on the screen and the underwater footage was small. So this time we're going to do underwater is big, which makes sense, and me small. So, But we're going to go with shaky heads because I love shaky heads, and I know a lot of you do too. But the two shaky head worms that I use the most is, once again, the 8-inch trick, trick worm by Zoom. Um, this thing gets some, I don't know why, this thing just kills it all the time on any type of rig. So, I'm going to use this one underwater and see what it looks like. I'm really interested in what the tail does underwater because since it's poking up. And this is the other one. This is Lake Fork Lures Ring Fry. Um, this is not the baby ring fry. This is the original, this is the actual ring fry. So, it's a lot thicker. Um, a little heavier, of course, because it's bigger. So, let's go ahead and get on over to the pool again and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with a wacky rig, like I was telling you, on the 8-inch zoom trick worm. Got the camera in the water. I'm going to go ahead and pitch it like I normally did on the last one. Um, mainly I want to, I know kind of, I can kind of guess what it does with when you pop it, what it looks like. But I'm mainly thinking about when I'm popping and what the tail's doing. When it's resting, is it, see, with this, with this shaky head right here. It's laying like it, that. See, that's that's what I wanted to see right there. As you'll see in the video here in a second, um, I really wanted to see if it was doing that. That makes it. That looks really, really enticing when I pop it like that. Now let's see when I give it a little bit of a. I'm gonna dragging motion, and then I'm gonna slightly pop it at the same time. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Slight, slight, slight bird's nest right there. I don't know how that happened. But. All right, so we're just gonna give it a good. We're just gonna drag. Okay. So what I'm noticing with the dragon motion instead of just a popping motion is I'm cover. I'm, I'm clearly covering a lot more ground quicker because it's I'm pulling it towards me, as to when I'm popping it, it's it's just coming kind of up and forward. On when I'm dragging it, it's coming directly at me. And I'm getting a lot more action when I'm popping, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm mostly gonna stick with the popping when I'm using this, um, the shaky head setup. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to the other bait real quick, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. All right, guys. So another really important thing that I did not say at the beginning of the video is to make sure that when you're setting up your shaky head um, worm, to make sure that it looks like this. Okay, so. See how it kind of looks like this? It's going straight up at an angle. Because if you have it down like this, it doesn't do anything. It's just going to sit light on the ground like this. The whole point is to have it, the tip of the, just like that, and the tail to where it points straight up in the air. So the current itself will move it and when it's just sitting there. So that's very, very important. Make sure, make sure you're rigging it correctly as well. So. All right. Let's go ahead and give this one the same thing. We're going to pop it the first time, and the next time we're going to drag and see which one we like better from this point of view. All right, so of course we're going to start off with a pop, and like I said, it's such a different feel as when I'm popping than with the 8-inch uh, zoom trick worm. This one's so much thicker, and I can just I can feel it a lot more. Uh, it's got a way different motion or movement than the than the trick worm. This just looks like a, a fat grub or a slug in the water. Just a big thick slug just moving. It's got a lot of movement to it too, man. It's so good. Alright, so that was a popping. Now we're gonna go with the we're gonna cast it and kind of drag it back. Uh, give a little bit of pop motion, not much though. I'm gonna hit the bottom. Now we know we're on the bottom. This is gonna this Okay, once again, pulling it closer to us quicker by dragging it. It's got a little bit, actually, quite a bit different motion. So when I pop it up, yeah, when I pop it up, it comes up and the tail will be like this. But when I'm pulling it directly towards me, I can tell it's like jetting across, like it's, it's almost swimming away from something. So I guess both would be beneficial, but I guess you just have to kind of test them both out to see which one they're hitting on that day. So anyway, 
Just want to go over the shaky head with you guys, make sure you know what you're doing correctly. Uh, make sure, like I said, when you're rigging these things, make sure you got it all the way to the, the head of the, <clears throat> the shaky head itself. And you want your worm to look like this when it's in the water, okay? So do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe if you would. Really, really means a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time. God! <laughs> what? <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> and I got it on film. Oh my gosh. That, that just happened.